Hi, I'm Brian with Mid Atlantic Portable Restrooms, and I'm here today to show you our five unit restroom trailer. This five unit trailer has three women's stalls, and it's also climate controlled for both sides, AC or heat, as you need it. Down here below, we have a fireplace. It's in the summertime right now, so we have that on just for decorative place. We have double sinks. But these are push button sinks that automatically stop when um, after a period of time and that's to keep from wasting water. Here's a closer look at the stall. Inside here it's very similar to your toilets at, at home except it's a push button flush. Um, and the reason for that is they use an RV style toilet and that flushes your toilet. Then we have toilet paper on the side extra rolled toilet paper down there as well as a shelf if you want to put any supplies uh, miscellaneous uh, personal item supplies each of these stalls are the exact same way and on the ladies side we have three stalls inside here over on this side we have the same type of um, faucet and bowl as well as paper towels the trash can is built into the sink here because we have a little more space and we do not have the fireplace on the men's side just a heater on the bottom for the winter. Um, and here is the men's toilet. This one again is similar to the ladies side again with a push button flush. I have a push pedal flush and a shelf up here on the toilet. This side is also climate controlled with both heat and AC for the winter time. You have a urinal. It's a waterless urinal so you don't need to do anything. There is no flushing. So out back here we have several things I should note. Number one, down here we need a garden hose hookup. Um, if you don't have a garden hose hookup, we can do and fill the fresh water tank, uh, but we would need to look into what options we can do because we can't bring that completely full with the fresh water. We have two electrical hookups, but they actually go down into one hookup, one cord, I'll show you, and we will bring that cord along. That needs to go into a standard 110 outlet but it should be on a 20 amp breaker by itself. If you have questions, by all means, reach out to us and ask us and we'd be glad to help you out.